we are currently looking at the Barnes & Noble Nook. And what's unique about the Nook is that it has an LCD color touchscreen on the bottom. It has the regular e-ink, just like most of its competitors up top, but the um, color touchscreen here is a great unique feature. Um, so first we'll look into the, go to the My Library option. And it comes up with all the different documents and books that we have in here. And if I go to My Documents and I click on the Nook User Guide, select it down here with the touch screen. And then through this, there are many note-taking capabilities that the Nook has. And to highlight, you go to Highlight and Take Notes down here. And then we go to Add Highlighter Note. And then you can use down here, there's a little arrow pad. You can use to highlight what you want. You say Start Selection. And you can go as far as you want. It highlights it. There's little brackets up here. And then you say End Selection once you're done. And then it asks you if you want to make a note, in which I will. I'll just write the word Note. Something basic. And then I hit submit. And it makes a note of it. And the view notes, you select here so you, you say view notes for this page. And then view edit note. And it comes up. And now you can edit it if you want, leave it the same, whatever. There's also a search function that's very helpful. You click here on the bottom, it says fine, it's the first one and it comes up with the keypad and everything and I'll search the word Nook I search that and it's searching throughout it and it finds it and you can hit find next, find next, find previous um, new find which if you want to search for a different word and that's very helpful when reading a textbook you may want to find a definition of a word, you don't know where it is in the text, you can search the word and it'll probably come up with it. And then one problem that I find with Nook is the, is the touchscreen interface, which is nice and new and different, but when you're typing on it, when I'm trying to find a word, it comes up and I start typing right away and it just, it's a little slow to come up on the e-ink because they're different systems and you can try and get ahead of yourself and it just you lose what you're typing, you miss a word, miss a letter and it, it it doesn't help. As you can see while I type the word hello it takes a second to register. So you either have to type rather slowly or hope that you're pressing the right key because sometimes your fingers might be off a little bit and it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm.